Do you know what you have done by all the bloodshed? Listen, the blood of your brothers cries out to me from the ground. The blood shed by your hands from war, murder, greed, abortion, and everything else that leads to death have defiled my land. You have polluted it by not being your brother's keepers, but being your brother's murderer and the worst kind of bloodshed. The blood of those who bore testimony to Jesus and the words of God, which are the Lord's messengers, saints, and prophets, must be avenged. The deaths of them and the Son of God have brought the wrath of the Father upon his people. I feel that the recent events have avenged these deaths, and any more killing will not prove anything at this moment. But let me assure you that if someone sheds the blood of another, there will never be mercy again. I will not allow you to live if you defile my dwelling place. You will be under a curse of avengement. You will not be allowed to wander the earth again and be in my presence. I have shown you perfect mercy up to this point, but from today, on the mark I put on those who shed blood, which used to be the mark of forgiveness, is now the same mark they are putting on others. They will now be marked for slaughter. You will be driven from the de earth by your death. All the people of my kingdom must open their mouths in agreement to this to receive God's prosperity. We are going to put a stop to bloodshed. And this is the only way to make it work around the whole earth. If you don't want to agree to this, then you can be a restless wanderer of the earth. But do not enter my kingdom because you are not welcome. If you condone bloodshed, you are considered unworthy of my presence and with being driven from the kingdom hopefully the punishment will be more than you can bear and you'll repent of the sin you're trying to bring in my gates if you are doing what is right you have nothing to worry about and if you do not do what is right you better learn how to master it because it is Satan who desires to have you and he will if you don't face up to your problems and look up to Jesus to help you getting angry at me is not going to do you any good if you get angry at me, I will take it as an attack. The kingdom of God is not a killing field like the field of Cain and Abel. It is a living field. Don't even come to me and try to justify the shedding of blood. We are all going to make a pilgrimage into the house of God. Pilgrimage is do bring peace. It's hard to fight when you're committed to the same thing. If you if they won't let theocrats run in elections then we won't vote in elections in that country politicians to show your support you are to denounce your affiliation to the political party you belong to and change to the theocrats The days of fasting, of not having Jesus, are over. You shall eat and drink again with me. I have arrived. The bridegroom is here, and you are the bride, so you shall feast with me forever. 
It's not how much you fast or pray that makes you righteous, or what you eat or drink, or who you hang out with or follow, or even whether you preach or teach others about the Bible. It's whether or not you have the Holy Spirit. You are invited to the great banquet with Jesus in the kingdom of God with everyone else. If you have exchanged your old spirit with the new, and if you have put on the new spiritual body of being a child of God. I am not a cult. The cults are those that say you can only be with those that fast and pray the same as you. They have made themselves a separate group inside of a larger group. They separate themselves from both the righteous and the sinners. Instead of calling people to repent, they only want those that really don't need to, but who will worship in a certain way. They are more worried about controlling people than they are about making people spiritually better and healthy. I call the sinner and the righteous to be filled with God's Spirit. We need to give thanks to the Lord Almighty, for the Lord is good, His love endures forever. God's house is again restored to its priceless, precious glory, and its towns are filled with His children. It is a house that brings the Father renown, joy, praise, and honor before all nations. No longer will God's people rebel against them because all the nations will repent of their sins. Everyone on this earth will hear of God's kingdom and they will be amazed at all the good things they hear about it. No one will want to be left out so that they may share in the abundant prosperity and peace God provides for it. This is what the Lord says, He who made the earth, He who has formed it and established it, the Lord is going to reaffirm and reestablish his house again for the second time. The former house is destroyed and set afire by God's anger and wrath. God's face has turned from it because of its wickedness. It is decreed that Babylon must fall. Like Muhammad, I must cleanse God's house of the idols that are in it, which means on a worldwide basis. I am the spirit of the King of Medes. I will bring health and healing to God's kingdom. I will bring abundant peace and security. I will bring it prosperity, joy, and gladness. The voice of everyone will be thankful. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. If you seek my presence, you will not go unnoticed. It doesn't matter how many people there are that want to see me. If you are one of them, you will not be denied access. The way you reach me is through prayer, and that way will always be open to you. <laughs>